going to be taking you guys throughout my summer nighttime slash evening time routine. It is currently 5.38 p.m. so we are transitioning into the evening time and it's Monday today so I thought I'll just show you guys my typical you know weeknight routine and whatnot. I've had a pretty busy day so far. I had to take a dress to get tailored. I have a wedding this weekend so I had to make sure I get that done. I have groceries and so luckily Sala is making dinner tonight so I'll probably go help him out in a little bit. But I just want to make sure that what I have on my to-do list gets done before dinner and kind of like we wind down for the night. Well, I probably need to export my vlog that I made and I need to fold laundry because we have two loads that went and now I think they're both dry. I will be doing that. Oh, and then I want to edit a little reel. So yesterday, Sala threw me a little surprise painting birthday party at um, the Park of Roses. So I took some videos and I want to make a little like reel slash TikTok, a cutesy like midsummer night vlog situation. My actual birthday is tomorrow. So I'll probably vlog tomorrow too if I'm up to anything interesting. But I think that this vlog is going to be posted after my birthday vlog if I do post a birthday vlog. But anywho's, I'm so hungry because I only had breakfast this morning at around 11.30 and it wasn't even a huge breakfast. I honestly don't think I've had anything else other than that. Like I've had a fourth of a cookie just to like get me going and I even worked out. So I'm going to be ravenous by the time dinner comes. Also, I don't know if you see this cute little flower painting. I'm really proud of it. This is the tulip that I painted last night at my party. It was exactly how I wanted it to turn out. I want more cute, floral, very simple aesthetic decorations for our apartment. And there was like nothing on this wall for the longest time. Anyways, let's finish up what I need to do for the day and then we'll get on to dinner. So cut them into fours. How do you feel about Ariana? I'm actually like, if that's true, I'm really disappointed. What's like, what happened? Like they were end, end game. I feel like Hollywood just lies to you. Okay, so we're making some chicken stew tonight. This is Sala's recipe. So I'm just going to help him um, cut some of these potatoes into quarters. And that'll be my contribution. So we have some green onions left over from last week, so I'm going to try to salvage these. I like to cut my green onions like at an angle to make them look more aesthetic. So what you doing? <laughs> I'm browning the bottom of the pan. I kind of like pre-cooked the chicken and now I'm going to add the veggies and cook that. And then I'll like Ooh. get that to simmer and soften and then I'll have the chicken in ready. Alrighty, well I will probably go fold the laundry while you make the food. It'll be ready in what, like 30 minutes? Oh, okay. Let's just get this stupid laundry done. Guys, guess who got me the Skims robe for my birthday? My sister's on the phone right now. She's not feeling well, so I'm keeping her company. But she got me the freaking Skims rope and I've been wanting this for like months and even though it's summertime, hopefully I will still wear it. It's really soft and this is like in the smallest size but it still fits, it's just not like as long. So yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. <laughs> I'm loading laundry from the washer into the dryer. I always have to make sure that there's no like detergent stains because that has happened to us so many times and ruined like countless pieces of clothes. I don't know if it's just because it's a top loading washer. I don't know. If anyone has any tips on how to avoid that, then let me know. Always air dry your Lulu. I feel like I just did. Hold up, why is my face so white? I think it's the exposure and I'm right in front of the window. Ignore that. 
I feel like I just did laundry with you guys in a very recent video. Laundry is a weekly thing usually. I just don't like it to pile up too much. And then I'm the type that likes to re-wear a lot of pieces that obviously need to be washed and I would just prefer to wear those most of the time. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but maybe I'll do a little folding montage. I don't really know yet. So I just like added everything together now. It's like nice and colorful. I'm literally so hungry. So I feel like usually cooking dinner and meals, it's maybe like an 80-20 ratio of me cooking versus him. But I think we're like both happy with that because I feel like I've said this before in a previous vlog, but cooking is kind of therapeutic for me. It's a form of art, like I look forward to it. As long as I'm not doing it every day. If it's like once or twice a week that I'm like into it. I'm in that stage right now where like I'm into trying new recipes and I think Salah is too. Some dinner recipes that are go-to for us are honestly a lot of ethnic meals, like things that my mom makes and his mom. So like my mom, for example, the desi side, we do a lot of kima, like chicken curries. I sometimes do like a little pulao, like a rice and chicken situation. I make butter chicken sometimes. We try to limit that though. And then from his mom, like the Palestinian side, we make mulukia. I made mensaf once. That was on my Ramadan vlog, I believe. What else? I've tried to make makluba. Have you mentioned butter chicken? Yeah, I mentioned butter chicken. That's our best. In my opinion, I think butter chicken is our best. Uh, our best recipe so well it's not even my recipe so <laughs> okay just to know that like didn't say to add any salt so i just took the honor of doing a salt myself oh they, they said not to add any salt so yeah yep. that's necessary i just wanted to show you my updated fridge this card right here is from all my friends last night of course my sister got it from target she found it and I just wanted to make sure that was showcased. Once it starts boiling, um, we should let it simmer for 30 minutes, but I feel like maybe less. Okay, you need a bite of something? I literally feel like I'm gonna fall over, so. I don't think that's gonna, like, quench your hunger. No, I know, but just with my shakiness. This recipe needed salt, as we knew. <laughs> no, it wasn't your recipe. It's like yeah, yeah. It's an American recipe. Facts. I mean, I just think it's funny that we're like having soup outside on a summer night, but I can't. Should we have lemon juice? Oh wait, no, I need the lemon that I got. Never mind. I want to make like a chickpea. Um, remember the ch chickpea um, onion tomato cilantro salad that my mom made that one time. The air quality in Columbus is so terrible right now. Like you can barely see the sun and the sun rays. Okay, so we are on our evening walk now. It is super nice out, but like I said, the air quality the past few days and weeks honestly has been terrible in Columbus. I think it's from like the wildfires in Canada. It's been like traveling down to Ohio. Has, has her fanny pack, such a mom already. I feel like we're walking slow. So you want me to go faster? I feel like I'm gonna be so sad once summertime is over. I've been really enjoying our walks, especially after dinner because we eat dinner, what, like 7, 7.30, and then there's still so much daylight out. And so I don't wanna just like sit on the couch for the rest of the night. So it's nice that we go do an activity and it helps with like our digestion. And isn't it just the best? We like spend quality time. Yeah, it's nice outside. It's always good to be outside. Yes. As much as you can. And if you are trying to pick up on a new good habit, I suggest going on a post-dinner stroll.
cue time lapse. Yeah, for all your replenishing needs, you can do your soaps, your coffee, your rice, anything that needs to be filled up at your service. So. Okay guys, time for some nighttime fetch with Persia. It's now 9.23 p.m. and as you saw, Salah and I just finished up cleaning the kitchen and we played a little bit with Persia. Now it is my Netflix time. I have been watching Married at First Sight. I've seen all the seasons on Netflix. It is such a entertaining show, but the episodes are a little long and there's many of them, but it's just really entertaining if you're into like reality marriage television. I have my cookie and my milk and these cookies my mom gave me they're from sam's club and they're actually so good sala has his ice cream cake it's my birthday cake from last night but again my real birthday is tomorrow but yeah we're probably just going to watch some netflix and chill for the rest of the night thanks for coming along my summer night routine i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video Bye.